I just took a bite out of the best brat. It is cooked in beer, finished on the grill, sauteed peppers and onions. This flavor is amazing. It's simple, it's quick, it's great for a cookout and you're about to love it. Let's make it. So brats should be pretty easy, right? You throw them on a grill, you don't think about them, you turn them, whatever, they're done. The problem is on a grill, brats, especially pork brats like this that are pretty big and juicy, they can be kind of hard to cook evenly. You know, they grill kind of on the outside and then to get them fully done, the center takes a really long time. They really plump up, it can be hard and they can get burned. So what my family always does is, pre-cook them. So if you cook them in some beer, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge beer drinker. Actually, I don't like beer at all. But there's something about the beer that really does impart a good flavor, even for those of us that don't like beer. Now, if you don't like beer and you don't wanna do this, you could do an apple juice or even a cider. It's a little bit different, but it kind of does the same concept. So what we're gonna do is pre-cook them in the beer. We're going to saute and then braise some peppers and some onion for a topping. And it really, to me, makes the best grilled broth because we finish them on the grill to get that char broiled outside, that char from the grill cook them inside so they're fully cooked, it's really a win-win. So to start, we're gonna take our brats and our beer, which I don't say too often, but you know what? In this case, it really does, it works well. So I have a, just a nice kind of shallow pan. I'm gonna put my brats right in there. And this is the thing. So we're gonna spread them out somewhat into an even layer and I do it all cold. So my brats are cold. I'm gonna put the beer right on top and we want it really to be, you know, we want it to about cover them. So it can take more or less and depending on your size pan or how many brats, you can kind of change the amount of beer you're doing. So now we're gonna bring it up to a simmer and we're gonna let them go until they're cooked. So we're gonna let this come to a simmer and that's gonna slowly cook the actual brats. So I'm chopping up some vegetables and this is just more of a topping. So we have peppers and I'm using different colors cause it's just fun. Now you know, if you followed me, I'm not a huge fan of raw pepper, sweet pepper, but I love it when it's cooked or sauteed. So what I'm doing to try to make it get them all the right size is I'm cutting the top off and what this is gonna allow me to do is, and I'll, I'll show you here, is cut the bottom off then too. It's gonna allow me to open it up. And when you open it up, you can kind of just cut those ribs out. But more what I want here is even cuts of all these planks that I'm kind of making. So then it will make everything kind of cook evenly and work together more easily. So you can use these and just eat on them if you like them, use them on pizza, whatever you want. But what I'm doing is then putting them on top of each other and you get these nice kind of perfect planks. See how that works? You get these nice planks. And so then all the different peppers are somewhat even. And I think it just works well on top of brats to have them like this. I like the sizing. I like the planks. And I just like how they look. So that's why I chop them up like that. And same with the onion. Cut it in half. I cut the root end then off. And then I just slice it. So you get somewhat the same size pieces overall. So you can see now when you fan this out and kind of just... Look at that, you get the same pieces. So see how all that's working together? Now what I'm gonna do is take some butter, because I think butter is what really imparts the flavor for this. I have a skillet here that's heating up. I'm just gonna add my butter, let that melt into it. Look at that. That just means something good is coming. So I'm gonna add in now all my vegetables. So I want the onions in there while that's melting. I want all the peppers in there. And then we're gonna let these all just slowly kind of sweat and saute together. Now you know when I add them to a skillet like this, the first thing I like to do is make sure I get a little bit of salt and pepper on them because that one draws out their juices, but it seasons them right in the beginning too. So some salt, some pepper, and now we're gonna just let these saute and then we'll finish them up with a little bit of beer. Once the broths are finished in here, you can tell they're, not, they're nothing pretty and actually, honestly, they're kind of ugly. So they're gray, but guess what? They're fully cooked. So this is why this is a great method. You don't have to guess and have guesswork on the grill because it's all gonna be done pre in the kitchen. So what it leaves though is this really flavorful liquid down here. So before I take these out to the grill, what I wanna do is just grab a ladle and put just a nice little bit of this to kind of braise all of those onions and peppers. So that's gonna leave a little bit more flavor and it's just gonna slowly cook with them. So you can always add more if you want to, but it's just kind of a nice way to just slowly braise them. So I'm gonna grab a hot pad. We're gonna go out to the grill. We're gonna give these some nice char, a little bit more flavor, then we'll be done. So I have a hot grill, and now we're just gonna give these some nice marks all over. So we're gonna put these around the grill. You get the sizzle, you get the flavor. It kind of makes it a nice quick process too. So I'm gonna you know, turn these at least once during grilling just to make sure they get a nice kind of char on both sides. Then we'll take them in, we'll assemble. 
just pull the broths off the grill and you can see you get the nice char, you get the darkness, that's the flavor and that's what you want. So now it's really all about assembling, which is however you want to. I like a little darker one personally. I'm gonna want a lot of that char mark on it. I get that from my grandma. She loved a good burnt piece too, especially like on like a casserole potatoes. So I'm gonna put some mustard on it first. To me, is it, a, is it a brat without mustard? No, I don't think so. So we're gonna get the mustard and then you have all of these wonderful braised, which can you see the liquid? We kind of just cooked off that beer liquid we added, which I know, okay. If you're saying, I'm not a beer lover, guess what? You're talking to the ultimate non-beer lover. I don't like it, but in this, it almost becomes a little bit sweeter. It gets the flavor. I don't know, it's, it's, it's good and I don't like beer. But uh, if this doesn't look like a grill out or a cookout summer right here, I don't know what does, but I'll try it for you. This is gonna be about as messy as I can get. Mm. All over me. That is so good. What is good about it, that brat has so much flavor. Which yes, a good quality brat of course should. But there is something about cooking it in the beer. It's fully cooked through. And its skin gets that good char on it. So it almost gets that nice, not a crust on the skin, but almost from the grill. It's like perfectly cooked, super juicy still. What I love is one, you gotta have the mustard. It, is it an option? No, it's not. And then these peppers and onions on top. Like guys, these, mm, a little bit of butter. We cooked them in. It became sweet almost, helped them caramelize, really cook down till they were soft, yet still a little bit, that crisp tender. This is perfect. This is summer right here in a bite. That's exactly what I want. Put this with pasta salad, put this with potato salad. Give yourself a party. Even if it's a party for one, it's right here. So what I hope you do with this, I hope you make some broths and I hope that they're the best you've had and you actually make the peppers and the onions go with them because it's delicious. Put it together, it's amazing. So gather some people together, have a party, enjoy each other, enjoy summer. It doesn't last that long, so you better enjoy it. Check my website, wiseguy.com for this recipe. All my other recipes, they're all on there. And when you share them around, it makes me so happy. And it makes others see this is doable. So enjoy some good food and enjoy summer. <laughs>